whoa, how did I get way out here in outer space? This is kind of cool. Whoa. Hi, boys and girls. I'm reading to you today from outer space because it is Star Wars Day. Happy Star Wars Day to everybody. May the 4th be with you. Today's May 4th. That's why it's Star Wars Day. And in honor of Star Wars Day, I wore my Star Wars shirt. Uh, I don't know if you can see it too well because of my background. My bestie shirt. And for the besties, I picked out a new book that has some besties in it. I love our Elephant and Piggy books so much by Mo Willems. This is one of my favorite Mo Willems books. And this is called We Are in a Book. Now we have a new focus today. Uh, Rockstar readers, we're always preparing for rehearsals. Now a rehearsal is when you practice something. Uh, if you are a dancer or if you do gym gymnastics, you might participate in rehearsals to prepare for a show. So what you do is as a reader to practice for rehearsal, to, to get ready for a rehearsal, what we do is we mark the pages with feelings. That way, when we get to those pages, when we're rehearsing and when we're about to practice for dramatizing the whole story out, you'll see that post-it note with the feeling and you already know like, oh, it's like a little reminder. Like I better change my feeling in this, on this page and I better really act out this feeling. You could also mark the thoughts on the pages as well. So using those post-it notes will help you when you rehearse a book to practice it and to dramatize it as best as you can. So I use some bright pink post-it notes to mark my pages so that way they really stand out. That way when I go to rehearse it, it's like a little warning saying, oh, warning, you better change your feeling on this page and dramatize it really well. Now, I don't have the post-its in the book yet. You're going to help me with that part at the end of the story. Okay, so this book is really worn because it's one of my favorite books and I've read it so many times. We are in a book. Now, pay close attention to the character's feelings and thoughts. That way you can help me out. We are in a book by Mo Willems. Thank you. Piggy? Yes, Gerald? I think someone is looking at us. Hmm. Someone is looking at us. Who is looking at us? A monster? No, it is a reader. A reader is reading us. How is a reader reading us? The reader is reading these word bubbles. We are in a book. We are in a book. That is so cool. We are in a book. 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 We are being read. We are being read. Oh, I have a good idea. I can make the reader say a word. You can make the reader say a word? I can. If the reader reads out loud. Uh-oh, I'm getting a little nervous because I am reading out loud. I wonder what they're going to make me say. That is a good idea. That is a funny idea. <laughs> Here I go. Ahem. Banana. Seriously, Piggy made me say banana. Ha 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 ha! Did you hear 
hear that. The reader said, <laughs> banana. <sighs> oh, <laughs> the reader said it again. <laughs> <laughs> Banana, so funny. <sighs> Do you want to turn before the book ends? Uh-oh, look at elephant. Ends? The book ends? Yes, all books end. When will the book end? I will look. Page 57. Page 57. It is page 46 now. Eek. Now it's page 47. Uh-oh. This book is going too fast. I have more to give. More words, more jokes, more bananas. I just want to be read. I have a good idea. Uh-oh, what's Piggy's idea? I wonder what he's saying. That is a good idea. Oh, looks like they're talking to us. Hello, will you please read us again? They asked so nicely. I hope this works. Me too. The end. I love that story. And you know what? I actually might read it again after we're done this lesson on my own. And if you have this book at home, feel free to read it over and over again. That's what I do. I love this book so much. It's so silly because it's like they're really talking to us, the reader. Okay, so as I said before, good readers have to mark the pages with the feelings because that will help us to dramatize it when we're rehearsing the story, when we're about ready to act it out. So it helps remind us about all the feelings on the pages. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to different parts of the book and I want you to turn and talk with your parents on what you think the character's feeling on the page and also some of their thoughts. So first I'm going to go to page, uh, pages eight and nine. This is when they're realizing that someone is looking at them. Hmm, how do you think Elephant and Piggy are feeling on this page? Parents, feel free to pause this video and turn and talk with your child about their thoughts and their feelings on this page. Okay, so what I feel that they are feeling and thinking I think they're a little confused. Like, why is somebody looking at us? So what I did, I made a post-it and my pen kind of exploded on the post-it note. Sorry about that. They're feeling confused. So I put uh, an emoji that looks confused and I even wrote the word confused. So parents, this is a fun activity to do with your child, marking the pages, drawing emojis, and you could even write the word if you wish with your child, that way they remember. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stick this post-it note on this page. That way when I go back to rehearse the story, this lets me know when I get to that page, oh, I have to make sure I'm looking confused and I'm acting confused when I'm dramatizing the story. Okay, next I'm gonna to go to page 20, let's see here. Okay, let me 
I'm going to show you before page 20. It's when Elephant is realizing that they're in a book because Piggy just figured it out and he told Elephant we're in a book. And let's see, Elephant saying, that is so cool. Now let's take a look at Elephant and Piggy on these pages. They're yelling out, we are in a book, we are in a book, we are being read, we are being read. How do you think they're feeling on these pages? Turn and talk about the feelings and thoughts of Elephant and Piggy on those pages. And feel free to pause the video. Okay, did you say that they are feeling really excited? <gasps> That's what I said too. So I drew an excited emoji. The eyes are closed, the mouth is wide open and a big smile. And I even wrote the word excited. So what I'm going to do is on this page, I'm going to mark it with my post-it note. Now we always use post-its because we do not want to write inside of the books. So that page is marked for when I go to rehearse the story later on with maybe some family or friends, I know to act excited on that page. All right, ready to do another one? Okay, I'm gonna go now, I'm gonna skip ahead quite a few pages. Let's see here. Okay, so they were telling, they were making me say the word banana, which was really silly. They were making me say any words at all because it's on pages and I have to read what's written there. All right, so Piggy is now telling Elephant, do you want to turn? He's, uh, Piggy's asking Elephant, do you want to turn before the book ends? Now look at Elephant. He changes. He's, sit he's sitting there. He's so amused. He's so excited because he's making me say all these funny words. And then all of a sudden, Piggy says, oh, you can have a turn before the book ends. Now look at his face. <gasps> How do you think? think elephant is feeling on this part of the book. Turn and talk with your parents. Feel free to pause this uh, video if you need extra time. Okay, now if you said surprise like me, kiss your brains, he looks very surprised. Like he had no idea that this book was going to end. And parents, if your child said something else similar that actually goes along with it, that's perfectly fine. There's not one right or wrong answer, okay? So any answers that would make sense are perfectly acceptable. Okay, so I'm gonna put my surprised emoji post-it right there and I even wrote the word surprised. And now I'm gonna go just a couple pages. Let's see here. Oh, so Piggy's looking to see when the book ends and he said it's on page, page 57 it ends. And now look at Elephant. 57? It's page 50, it's page 46 now. <gasps> and now it's page 47. Oh my goodness. How do you think Elephant is feeling now? So he was surprised that the book was going to end but he's not surprised anymore. He has a different feeling. Turn and talk what you think is, he's feeling right now. Okay, if you said worried like I did, please kiss your brains. Maybe you said also nervous, that's fine, or sad, that's okay also, but we're trying to come up with more words other than just happy and sad. We're really trying to use our brains to create different words, not just happy and sad. So he's actually really worried or nervous because he sees that the book is going too fast. Page 46, 47, it's getting close to the end. He is worried. Okay, so let's do one more. This last one is actually at the very end of the story. Okay, remember, so he's really worried the book's ending, but Piggy has an idea. He whispers it to Elephant. Elephant thinks it's a good idea. And then they ask the reader, hello, will you read, will you please read us again? Now let's look at this page and we're gonna read the dialogue. It says, I hope this works. And Piggy says, me too. All right, this one's a little trickier. Turn and talk. How do you think they're feeling on this page? 
Okay, I, if you pause the video, that's perfectly fine. What I came up with on this page, and the words actually helped me on this page. Sometimes the pictures and looking at their facial expressions help, but the words on this page really helped me to know how they're feeling. They are feeling hopeful, okay? That's a new word. They are hoping that I read this story again. So there's a new word for you. They are feeling hopeful on this part. So parents, feel free to explore the books with your child today and also mark the pages with different feelings and also different thoughts that the character is having and try to come up with and encourage your child to come up with more words other than just happy and sad. Okay, so continue reading. I'm going to have some fun here in outer space and explore all the stars and all the planets. And I need to be safe out here. That's for sure. All right, boys and girls, rock on. I'll see you tomorrow for another read aloud. Bye, guys.